Okay, so this is just gonna be a quick tutorial on how to use this new hose tool that I found that I really love and I use it for almost everything now. So we're just gonna delete this sphere to start off with. And if you just wanna make like a simple like hose, you could use the torus, which is here. So once you have your torus, you can adjust the size of the donut by adjusting this green one or the radius by adjusting the orange one. So we want kind of a tight donut. Once you have this, whatever direction your z-axis is going is the way that this hose is going to first direct itself. So if you ever want to change that, you'd have to rotate it however direction you want this to be repeated. So we're going to validate the shape. As soon as you've done that, you can go to the three squares. You can click Add. You're going to do a curve. Now you see you've got just like the tube tool in Nomad, so you can bring this out. You can extend a few different points and add them in, and then you can increase the number of pieces of that shape that repeat themselves. So you can make, you can zoom out and kind of see how we can go with like a crazy long hose going different directions. We can increase the number of folds. So that looks pretty good, but you notice right here, it doesn't really look great, right? So you can validate this, but you can uninstance it. So that way each one of these will be a separate primitive that can still be messed with or adjusted so you don't have like that perfectly uniform look. So we'll click uninstance, confirm. Now if we go over to our menu, you can see this can expand into a, a bunch of different toruses and they're all there and you can still mess with them. So say this spot where it looked kind of bad, where the hose doesn't look continuous, we can take this one specifically and we can either rotate it down a little bit and maybe split the difference a little more between these. And then you could take the drag tool, increase the size. You can move you can move this one over just a little bit and maybe not make it look so perfect. It could have like a couple little kinks in it or you could put a crease in it. Obviously that's a low resolution. We'd have to remesh this at a higher resolution. Let's put like the details to show up a little better. But now you can see I could put a crease in it. Could smooth that out a little. That's it, straight and simple. You can make horns this way. You can actually also, um, let me start over and make another one. So let's add another primitive. Let's just do like a sphere. We'll validate the sphere. Let's get it out of this group of toruses here and we'll just collapse this and hide that. So we got our, we got our sphere right here, right? So, so we bring this up a little bit, let's, Take and drag this out and we can make it into kind of an odd shape that could kind of be repeated, but would look interesting. Repeated. Let's remesh this a little bit greater than what it is. Let's smooth it. That's kind of an interesting shape. So if we go and we do the curve tool, we click add, curve. Now we can bring this up and we can also, let's increase the number of spots we have. So you could do a tail like this or scales or anything like this, a different type of horn. And you can actually adjust the radius points just like the tube tool. You can add and click in these radius points and now I can adjust to make one spot skinnier, one spot thicker. But if we want to do a horn, we'd want it to get to a narrower point. So we could kind of curve it this way back and forth. We can increase our count. And say you want this to be a perfect channel with, without showing all the different pieces, you could actually increase that to 200 and now you have like this perfect uh, shape with multiple contours that just follows your repeater. So we could click validate. We could actually join the children this time. Rather than making them all separate, we can make this all one new piece. Click yes, join children. Oh, it actually crashed out the app probably couldn't handle that amount of uh, that amount of RAM for how complex I made that first shape. 